You guys asked for it in my popular demand. George is back in town along with Bruce. Bruce, say something. Bruce. Bruce. He's right now in Camote. Mmm, fresh grass. Part of the contract is I have to give him grass. They got they got a contract now. What do we have here? A chair turned upside down. Another chair. Hmm, chair, chair, post. Hmm. Post. Four post. Hmm. Carolina and baby, this one goes out to you. What happens if I switch this over? Make a little noise, scare George a little bit. Hmm. Still four post. Huh. Each one's got a little zone. Oh, that's a tributary area right here. Tributary area between them. George? Oh, hello. George? Investigating? George, need your help. Oh, he's got something interesting. George, need your help. Up, 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 up. Come on, up. George, up. Contract, contract. Stick to the contract now. You know, I, g I didn't give you grass yet, but that's not the way it works. Come on, George. Your contract says you had to perform first because you've been known not to uh, perform after you get your grass. George. George. Oh, he's a tough. He thinks I went up there actually, guys. And we got a little distraction of a great cat. There's the great cat you guys asked about. Oh, let me ask Bruce to do it. Bruce, come on. Get over there. Come on. Come on, Bruce. Bruce, come on. Bruce. Bruce, come on. Oh, my gosh. You guys lied. You so lied about your contract. You signed it. You signed the contract. Okay, Carolina and baby. So, what happens if we lose? This this all ties into. I remember I said in your comment to you, keep this in mind about tributary areas. They're actually um, can define your cracks in your in your pavement. In your pavement. You know what? This is not going well. You two are just are just beastly. So it can define your cracks in your in your pavement here. In other words, if I were to see a fracture across this pavement here and down, well then it could take the load here. But over there was what? An overhang. So that, that means it must have had a little bit of tributary area between there that when the car loaded, let's call it a car loaded there, this area, when the car is point loaded here, couldn't transfer over to here. So between, let's say, the two of them, that's one that stayed and the one that went away, this one flexing away, a crack was created. So you can use that tributary, and not just with this brit, uh, this uh, this structure, but with a lot of other, uh, <laughs> a lot of other things, cracks-wise, evaluating on the ground. You're gonna throw up. You're gonna eat so much. Let's see. George, up. George. George, hey. So. Up. George, up. How time. So he's on the tri he's in the tributary area now. Now he's off the one critical area. Now he's got his hindy on the tributary. Good boy. He took long enough. Okay. Go do what you want to do now. Go eat your grass. Contracts over. You you you've uh you've honored your contract. I'll give him that. Georgie. Georgie, what do you see, boy? Both of them see something over there. All right, end the video, guys. Oh, that was about tributary areas and helping you see them. They're everywhere. Between your floor joists, you got three floor joists. Take one out in the middle, and you create a larger tributary area. The area between there is a tributary area. You can think of the nails that hold the deck down, as part, your floor joists down, your deck, as part of your... Uh, Fasteners to the heads. In this case, this is welded. Okay.